Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Patek Philippe Calatrava 5227R.001. You can see this Patek Philippe 5227 and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on that card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this Hunter Caseback Patek Philippe. See additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images that don't include my wrist, and of course complete pricing details for this Patek Philippe 5227R. Now on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see this is the modern look of the most progressive of the Calatravas. The Calatravas have always featured a number of different design traditions in the modern era. Straight lugs versus integrated, center seconds versus sub-seconds, hobnail bezel or none, date or none, manual or automatic. This with center seconds, the date window, and the blended lugs represents something of the apogee of Calatrava Evolution. Introduced in 2013, this is the famed Hunter Caseback model designed by Terry Stern. Now you can see 39 millimeters across the round of the case on my wrist, not inclusive of the crown. The watch has a low profile and traditional proportions, but modern outright dimensions. Nevertheless, it does remind you of a traditional flat, ultra thin dress watch in as much as it is only 9.5 millimeters thick in spite of the automatic winding and the folding case back easily clearing a dress cuff you can see the sloping case flank and the bezel making that possible now from lug to lug it measures a tight and tidy 46.5 millimeters that's from extremity to extremity this vantage point also gives you a good opportunity to note the distinctive scalloped style lugs of the timepiece this is a sensuous case with abundant nuance now the strap is a semi-gloss, dark brown, rectangular scale alligator leather, monotone stitch, you can see folded edges, and it terminates in a traditional and high polished Patek Philippe rose gold spade style pin buckle for easy on the fly adjustability. Underneath, something of a modern signature of Patek Philippe, you can see the pull spring tabs. So, simply hook your fingernail onto the pull tab, Depress the spring and you can remove the strap without the intervention of a jeweler or any need to hazard your talent with a screwdriver against the finish of the lugs. Great for deep cleaning or for strap swapping. Now you'll note the watch, handsome, traditional, beautifully arrayed, based around a ivory lacquered dial. Now all of the individual indices are beautifully faceted combination of polish and satination you can see outboard there's a dimple style minutes and seconds track and then at center you can see the faceted dauphine style hour and minute hands and lancet seconds a discreet patek fleet marquee at 12 o'clock and a framed date window with rose gold frame at three o'clock now the lacquer of the dial is spectacular having much of the luster and depth of enamel it's incredibly handsome and a beautifully warm complement to the rose gold of the case now take one more look at the case flanks to get a better gauge of the depth and sculptural contouring of those scalloped lugs. Truly remarkable. This watch has immense character. For a relatively simple timepiece, there is no lack of vantage points to pique your interest. Now you'll also note the absence of crown guards. This watch featuring a bare crown has a more traditional, unadorned, simple, art deco fashion case profile. Now you'll also note that the Hunter caseback barely betrays its presence, designed by Terry Stern himself to be discreet and have the appearance to all intents of a traditional snap caseback. There's a small kerf just underneath the crown, allowing you to leverage the caseback, beautifully finished with space for personalization on the inside of the caseback. And as you could see, an immaculate cover to the caliber 324 SC. 29 joules, it beats at a modern 4 hertz beat rate. Although it is traditional in many respects, most notably the linear Cote de Genève across the bridges, circular Cote de Genève across the winding mass, there is some high-tech material science going on here. Now it centers ceramic rotor bearings, unlubricated high efficiency. In tandem with unidirectional winding, this watch tops off its power reserve of approximately 40 hours very efficiently. Now a traditional Gyromax style free sprung balance takes and holds a precise regulation and it holds it well in the face of shocks and vibration on the wrist. What you can't see 
without the assistance of a loop is the blue Spiromax style amagnetic silicon hairspring, a modern Patek Philippe innovation derived from the advanced research series. In every other respects, you get what you expect. You can see the Patek Philippe crest, the seal of approval of the Stern family, attesting to the finest standards of finish. No better, no worse than the old Geneva Hallmark. It's simply the way of things since mid-2009. Beautiful englage, hand-laid, rounded and mirrored across all bridge edges. You can see the screw heads are polished to poly noir or black optical polish as it's known. All of the jewel and screw sinks beautifully mirrored like the edges of the bridges and there's a tight and even perlage across the base plate, every screw slot chamfered. Again, tolerances of the case back are exceptional. You can see and you can purchase this latest generation 5227R-001 on our website.